All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Big crowd today. Reminds me of the National Guard, yeah. this crowd. It's a big crowd. I uh, appreciate everyone coming together today in front of our leaning tower of Newcastle County, which we'll talk about in a minute. Can we start just by giving a round of applause? Senator Carper, thank you. Uh, your committee. We're here uh, for many reasons, but first and foremost, because you've put the state's infrastructure and wastewater infrastructure and environmental issues front and center. Of course, uh, Representative Blunt Rochester, thank you so much. Would not be here without your dedicated, committed, and enthusiastic support uh, for us at the local government level, which is appreciated. We all know Senator Coons uh, wanted to be here. He sent his regards and his regrets. I'm also up here with uh, a former county uh, special services public works employee, one of our finest alums of the department, uh, State Secretary of DENREC, Environmental and Natural Resources, Sean Garvin. Sean, thank you for being here today and your tremendous support and collaboration. It's an important reminder today of the, of the tremendous state, uh, federal, and local collaboration that gets sewers and wastewaters working. You know, when you think about what differentiates us, uh, Senator and Congresswoman, from developing countries, countries that are nothing like America, one of the biggest things is actually our wastewater, our ability to take away the bad stuff without people even thinking about it or, or noticing. And there are not many people that think a whole lot about this substation here. I know we're here to talk about money, to talk about resources that you have worked hard to make available. For us here in county government, more than anything, our sewers are about our people. We have extraordinary people here who work every day so that the people of our county never need to think about this stuff. A number of them are here. Uh, uh, Jason, uh, Regis, uh, Rob Roth, Jamie, and the others. Can we just, you guys raise your hand. Let's give them all a round of applause. Thank you for your work every every single day. Um, Tracy Searles, the general manager for Public Works, uh, could not be here. Before I pass the mic to Senator Carper, um, I wanted to call Senator Carper up for a minute. Senator Carper had an opportunity a couple years ago to uh, go down with some of our sewer employees into the sewers to inspect our force main. And I know that had a lot to do with us ending up here today to discuss this uh, word of authorization. Uh, there are elected officials across this country. Infrastructure, infrastructure at work. There are uh, elected officials across this country who talk the talk. We're lucky to have individuals here who walk the walk. So before we even start, I want to make sure we uh, offered Senator Carper another uh, job, and that's a one-day job here as a member of our public works staff. We have a... a, 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 a contract we're going to get what, you. What is this job paying? <laughs> it's a, we're going right into union negotiations. <laughs> um, but we have a certificate of honorary membership for you here. Oh, we got the... Not much. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we, we know you're coming from the National Guard. You're, you're a proud sailor, but we have a public works hat for you. It's kind of good. I'll go into it. <laughs> wow, trains are running well today. All right. There we go. Thank you. We got the shirt. And the uh, and the public works water bottle here. Yes. So you're fully <laughs> equipped now. Is it leaning? <laughs> That is great. But here you go. But uh, jokes aside, uh, because of your work, towers like this across our county are no longer going to be leaning. And the people of our county can rely on the fact that there will be quality wastewater treatment at an affordable price. So, ladies and gentlemen, Senator Tom Carper. Thanks, Let me put some of these gifts back in. Thank you. Nice round of applause for County Executive, Matt Meyer. Please remain standing. 
If you're uh, an employee of the county uh, for Newcastle County, would you raise your hands? Let's give them another round of applause. Thank you so much. Thanks for all you do for us. I'm, uh, we just come from a uh, deployment ceremony for the 160th unit within the Delaware uh, National Guard, a large unit. Uh, it does a lot of uh, civil work, so they're going and they're just getting ready to deploy to, uh, to Kuwait on the other side of, uh, other side of the world. Uh, they are uh, serving us, serving our country, protecting our interests around the world, around the world. And uh, standing here today, I'm just thinking about, uh, Lisa, I'm thinking about uh, the things that we uh, depend on as a uh, state, as a nation, in order to have a, a good quality of life. Uh, obviously, uh, we need a strong defense. A retired Navy captain, Vietnam veteran, and I have a real appreciation for those who serve, who have served. Do I have any veterans here? Do I have any veterans here? Okay. I, uh, but among the things that we need for a uh, strong, vibrant economy and state, uh, we need uh, transportation. We need transportation, we need roads like this one. Uh, we need uh, railroads right across the, uh, the way here. Not just for freight, not just for uh, passengers, but uh, for all the above. We need, uh, we're not that far from the airport, we need air traffic control. The ability to fly, thank you very much. The ability to fly uh, safely. We, uh, we need uh, water we can drink. And uh, we need uh, to be able to treat uh, the wastewater that we create as human beings. We need all of that. We need all of that. We need an Air Force base down in uh, Dover. It's the top, Dover Air Force Base, the top airlift base in the world. I mean, not just in the United States, in the world. We fly C-5s, we fly uh, C-17s, and nobody, they really have created an air bridge between us and the Ukraine to keep the Ukrainian uh, government and military alive and vibrant and protect the interests of that country and the interests of our country as well. We got a submarine uh, that's out, uh, out in the, the oceans, uh, can't tell you where, but uh, under the ocean. Goes out for 90 days at a time. It's the USS Delaware, most ma modern fast attack nuclear submarine in the world. So there's a lot going on to try to look out for the interests of our, our, uh, our country and the interests of our state. Now, that was just... That was just something that came to me to say, just standing here, freezing to death, with my new hat, my new, <laughs> my, all my guests. I also have a, a statement here that I, I want to, to read and, and, uh, and walk through. And <laughs> Believe it or not, in an earlier, an earlier age when I was governor of Delaware, I was uh, a member of the Amtrak Board of Directors. And uh, they still uh, think of me as part of, part of their family. But I, uh, I gave you my extemporaneous remarks. I want to give you my pre prepared remarks as well. It won't take that long, so just bear with me. But it's a lot of important information here, and, and I need to, to say there. I want to say these words, but uh, I'd rather thank the Matt and thank the uh, folks from the county that have helped make this uh, day possible. It's great to be here with Lisa Blunt Rochester, our, our, uh, our congresswoman who's played all kinds of important roles for the state. Chris Coons was with us over at the uh, the, uh, the, bar, the guard base. You can't be here. He sends his, his very, very best. He's a former county executive, so this is the kind of stuff that he lives and breathes, and uh, he would want to be uh, remembered. But uh, as our uh, county executive has, has mentioned, we're here at the uh, Christina River Forest Main. Who is the Christina River named after? Christina River is named after the 12-year-old Queen of Sweden. When the first Swedes and Finns came here almost 400 years ago, landed just a couple of miles down the, the, the road on the Christina what, uh, River, uh, un unnamed uncharted river flowed into the Delaware River. They named it, the first Swedes named it the Christina River after their queen. The queen was 12 years old. I call that, it's like, uh, really like, something about like emerging early. I mean like at the age of 12 to, uh, to be a queen or a king is pretty amazing. But um, we're here today and uh, Matt has alluded to the legislation that I probably co-authored. Co Lisa was a co-author of it in the Senate, Chris in the, uh, the and the rather in the House and Chris in the, uh, the Senate. We have uh, some members of my team here from uh, the Environment and Public Works Committee. If you're a member of the Environment and Public Works Committee, raise your hands. Uh, John, would you tell them who you are? J 
John King. Uh, any rear, any Reardon's here? Rear, okay. Good to see you. Uh, anybody else here? Anybody else here from the, t the EPW team? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I get credit for helping to write the largest infrastructure bill in the history of the country. Roads, highways, bridges, water, wastewater, waste sewer control, all kinds of stuff. But the uh, people who really do the, the work are, are here. We passed in the last uh, 12 months the largest infrastructure program in the history of the country. We passed the uh, one of the best, the biggest clean energy uh, factories ever. And uh, also, about every two years, we pass something called the Water uh, uh, WERDA, Water Resources Development Act, which is the reauthorization of the Army, Army Corps of Engineers. I asked earlier if we had anybody here who was in the in the military. Uh, I'm a Navy guy. Love the Navy. Love the Navy, and we have uh, a great uh, friendly rivalry with uh, the Army. And uh, sometimes we play it out on the football field. Uh, some uh, sometimes. Uh, we uh, play it out in, uh, in, in, in other venues. But I like to say different uniforms, same team. Different uniforms, the same team. We are so beholden in this state to the, uh, uh, to the Army Corps of Engineers. And we reauthorize their programs across the country in Delaware and across the country. Every two years in legislation that John and, uh, and his team have, have uh, put to, uh, to, 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 together. I. Uh, but anyway, the Water Resources uh, Development Act of uh, 2022 and its the authorization of $35 million for environmental infrastructure assistance, just in one county alone. This is a legislation that covers every state. Just in this one county alone, we're looking at $35 million authorization for environmental infrastructure. The Water Resources Development Act, as it's known, authorizes the work of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, which many of you know is a a active across the state of Delaware. Matt's alluded to, I want to say it again, for protecting and restoring to our beaches. If you ever go to one of our Delaware beaches, say thank the Army Corps of Engineers, because we wouldn't have them if it weren't for, for them. If you ever want to walk on a boardwalk, uh, thank the Army Corps of Engineers for, for what uh, they do to make that, uh, that happen and that, and that possible. Schools, we're building a school at the Dover Air Force Base for kids at elementary school. Army Corps of Engineers is doing that. Army Corps of Engineers did the, the reconstruction of the major main runway at the Dover Air Force Base just a, a few years ago. They are everywhere, and they are hugely important. In our, put your hands together for the Army Corps of Engineers. They do a wonderful job for all of us. With the Water, uh, Water Resources Development Act, WERDA 2022, not only improves the Corps' ability to support our beaches, support our ports. Where is the largest banana port in America? It is not far from here. It's Wilmington, the Port of Wilmington. You ate a banana this morning? Probably came through uh, Port of Wilmington. A lot of people in this country ate a banana this morning. They are sitting there thinking how good that, uh, that banana tasted and not even knowing where it came from the first, uh, the first day. The legislation that, that I'm talking about also authorizes new assistance to the Delaware for drinking water, for wastewater, and storm water. The legislation will allow the Corps or the Army Corps of Engineers to design and construct projects that can range from water distribution works to stormwater collection to surface water protection projects to drinking water assistance and a whole lot more. With the help of our Congresswoman Lisa Blount Rochester, the help of Senator Chris Coons, a former county executive again, we were able to secure a $35 million infrastructure authorization for every county. We have three counties in Delaware. They all got out of this legislation $35 million uh, infrastructure, environmental infrastructure authorization. One example of how these new authorities can be used is right here, right behind me, in front of you, the White Clay Creek Surge Tower. Newcastle County is looking to replace the tower to incorporate modern technology and redundancy to make the county's wastewater services more reliable and environmentally conscious. I'm excited to say that Newcastle can now work with the Corps, Newcastle County can work with the Corps through the Environmental Infrastructure Authorities and EPA and through the state revolving loan funds for construction of this project. With the inclusion of these environmental infrastructure programs in the word of 2022, we've taken another step to ensure that all Delawareans have access to drinking water and wastewater service. Can you imagine like, what our quality of life would be if we didn't have water to drink and didn't have the access to, to wastewater services? Not worth living, not worth living. Let me close by saying that I'm happy to work, anxious to work with all of you and communities across our state to 
ensure that Delaware has safe and reliable drinking water and wastewater infrastructure like Clay uh, Creek, uh, White Clay Creek Surge Tower. Now I want to invite uh, my, uh, my, my, our, our wing woman to, to, to join me at the podium, but before I do, I just want to say a big, a big thanks to our uh, Secretary of the Department of Natural Resources and Violent Control. He, I mean, he's going to speak here in just a minute. Guy does a great job. He's done that for, for years. And he used to be part of the team, right? New here in, uh, in Newcastle County. Still is. Still is. That's great. Well, great, great, to, great to be with you. Let me invite uh, Lisa Blunt Rochester, our Congresswoman, to say whatever is on her mind. <laughs> Give her a nice round of applause. A standing ovation. How about a standing ovation? There we go. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I want to um, start off by also thanking um, Senator Carper for your leadership, um, for really your good, really stewardship of the, the planet. And um, it is an honor to be here with you, to be here with our good friend Matt Meyer, who has led the county in an incredible way. And it's interesting because even when both Matt and the Senator thanked the team here at the county i looked over at all of you and they were like raise your hand and you're like oh you know like and, and part of it is because they have this attitude of like we just get stuff done we just came to work and we're trying to make the quality of life better for our county and for our state and so i too say thank you even if you say oh you know we're just doing our job i also want to acknowledge that because when we were here the last time one of the issues that wasn't part of our tour really became a big part of the work that I've done over the past two years, and, and that is on supply chains. Because you actually shared with us that there were things like screws that you needed to put that took six months to be able to buy and to get. And so, again, thank you for all of your work and um, on behalf of all of us. And I also want to give a big shout out to John and the EPW team because uh, Senator Carper said it earlier at the um, National Guard that it's unusual in, in other states to have a congressional delegation that works so well together, that partners together, and, and even shares credit together because they're working together. And it really is because we have an incredible team of people that help us uh, to make this a reality. So thank you so much. Um, I want to first just say, uh, Again, how proud I am that we were able to have such a big win for Delaware. This year's Water Development Resources Act, uh, again, under the incredible leadership of Senator Carper and his team, I'm just proud to be a part of it. I, he always calls me the wing woman, and that's how he just introduced me. I'm proud to be part of, of, of the wing of, uh, of, of this eagle and, uh, and, and really to be able to get things done, particularly for Delaware's environmental infrastructure. Because the, this bill's impact on Delaware cannot be overstated, it's gonna help us protect our shorelines and invest in clean drinking water and wastewater services. And that is what we're here to highlight today. This, year, this year's WERDA authorizes $35 million for each county in our state to use on environmental infrastructure projects across the state that will keep our community safe, that will protect our environment, and that will maintain our public health. And the Christina River Force Main is essential in helping us do exactly that right here in Newcastle County. It is the county's largest, if I'm not mistaken, most critical wastewater asset and services approximately 300,000 residents. I'm gonna say that one more time. It services over approximately 300,000 residents. And this tower that you see before us, as uh, Matt said, the leaning tower, uh, is uh, the, the White Clay Creek Surge Tower plays a pivotal role in equalizing the flow of wastewater in Newcastle County. But it has been in need of updates and improvements. And it's for that reason that we are here. So I am just, again, proud to be a part of this team that has been able to do that and to be able to serve the residents of Newcastle County and keep us safe. It will help ensure that these systems are able to function how they need to, to keep our environment clean of pollutants. And as we come out of the pandemic, I, I serve on the Energy and Commerce Committee in Congress. And, and so that's why the intersection of environment, which I'm on the Environment and Climate Subcommittee, as well as on the Health Subcommittee, 
is truly important. I was really pleased to come here and, when, and, and really learn about the things that the county is doing in a new and special way, and that this station handles sampling of COVID-19 uh, in their wastewater to monitor case rates. To me, that was something, again, another big thing that I learned here that I was able to take back and think about what we can do on a federal level to make sure that when we get into a pandemic or if we're dealing with an epidemic like, uh, like fentanyl or opioids, that we can monitor and know what's happening and then take appropriate action. These were things that we talked at length with Senator Carper and I um, when we brought EP Administrator Michael Re Regan here to this station last year. And it's a future that we hope this funding will help the county realize. It is truly an exciting day, a windy day, a cold day, but again, an exciting day here in Delaware. And I am so grateful to partner with our state and our county and the federal government to make this a healthier, safer, and stronger county. And now it is my privilege and honor to introduce the next speaker who is the secretary of DENREC, um, but as you heard, he is more than that. He has worked for uh, the EPA as, an, as a regional administrator. He has worked for the county. He has worked for President Joe Biden. He has worked in the county. But more importantly of all of that, he is a blue head. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Garvin. Thank you, Congresswoman. Um, it's always a pleasure uh, to, to be with you and, and uh, Senator um, and, of course, the county executive. Um, so at DENREC Secretary, we have two responsibilities. One is the environment, one is public health. As I look around and see everybody shivering, I'm going to try to keep my remarks fairly short so that we can protect everybody's public health. Um, I do want to uh, send the governor's regards. Um, this is a really important bill. WERDA is, is an infrastructure bill um, that crosses over a lot of different places. Uh, for us at DENREC, it helps protect our, our shorelines. Um, the $35 million that will be going to, to each of the county provides a, an additional funding source uh, to look at infrastructure that impacts public health in, in the environment. Um, and as our, our friends in the Corps who are here as they uh, go through the work plan and how that money is actually going to to, to go to life, it, it's really going to benefit the, the people of the state of Delaware, and that's because of your leadership, um, uh, Senator and, and, and Congresswoman. Um, uh, as the county executive said, I did serve in the Greenhouse Administration. My responsibility was over an executive assistant, and titles and names and departments are called all kinds of different things. Back then, I oversaw the Public Works Department and the Planning Department, uh, and so I always refer to special services as Public Works Department. and. Uh, spent a lot of time at this location in all different hats that I wore long before Sears Boulevard existed and all the wastewater activity going here and spent a lot of time at Glenville across uh, which you guys took care of over the course of time uh, but I, I can't say enough uh, both about Tracy Searles and her leadership uh, and the incredible work that you all do uh, every day and, and the hope is is that this money along with BIL money and ARPA money and other dollars that are being infused um, can really help us what uh, Matt had said is, you know, water and wastewater is really key to having um, a, a society that is sustainable. Uh, the governor uh, a couple years back introduced the uh, Clean Water Initiative for underserved communities. Uh, for many years, uh, for 30 years, back when the governor and I worked in the Greenhouse Administration, there was a discussion statewide about how do we deal with our underserved communities, the ones who do not have uh, wastewater uh, and, and drinking water that are up to uh, the standards of, of our country. And the Clean Water Initiative for Underserved Communities really focuses on how do we get reliable wastewater and drinking water uh, into those communities. And, and, and it's really something that has to happen at the federal, state, uh, and local level and, and having $35 million uh, for infrastructure coming into each of the county as a critical piece to environmental justice, as a critical piece to, to us making sure that every Delawarean um, has a reliable wastewater and drinking water. And so I'm, I'm so excited to be here. Um, I know that this, the, the word of dollars and we're gonna spend, I think I'm gonna spend a, a little bit of time next week with you, Senator, as well, in other parts of, of the state. 
um, really focusing on how that money is going to help the citizens of our, our great state. And so um, I was, I believe I was slated to introduce Tracy. So the rest of my remarks were really going to focus on, again, how incredible um, the public works, the special services the, uh, department and the public works a section uh, does an incredible job. Um, everybody expects that they can flush their toilet and it magically disappears. Um, you guys are the ones that do the magic. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is a great day. Thank you very much, Senator, for, for your not only leadership on this, but leadership. We've spent a lot of time. I've been in the environmental enterprise for pretty much most of my career, and, and that has put us kind of lockstep with each other. So thank you. Thank you, Matt. Um, and thank you, Lisa. Um, I think, unless you want to bring it home, I, I think I think that's it. So thank thank you all very much.